how to arrange your research paper and look it very effective, organized and simple, yet it would attract the attention of your professor. Well, there are numerous ways, but here are few of the simple tips and techniques which will make your research paper look best. Number one is that you need to first put up what are called the table of contents, a kind of an understanding what are the areas or what are the content that you are covering along with the name of the pages. It is better that if you can hyperlink them when you are sending it to your professor on a soft copy it would make things easier. They click and they go to the chapter. Next come few of the preliminary pages but these are important for a cover page, the declaration, the certification that you have got, whom are you dedicating, the acknowledgements, the abstract, the table of contents, the list of figures and charts. Then comes the core of the paper that is chapter one which is called introduction. I'm not going to tell you what are the number of words limitation because different universities and professors have different conventions. But here is the chapter where you introduce, you give the historical understanding, you tell the statement of the problem and frame your research question. Then comes chapter number two which is literature review where you read a lot of literature, find out what are the existing study which has been done, debates, case studies etc and then you try to find out the gap and you arrange the literature in a thematic way. I will be talking further about literature review in the next video. The third would be the methodology. Here you tell what is the method that you collect the data. It is interview, you collect data through telescopes, data, computer and then you tell that what is the qualitative, quantitative, what is the method in which you are gathering the data. It is survey reports or what so. Then comes chapter 4 which is called the findings and analysis it is the heart of your research paper where you talk more about what are the areas that you have worked, what are your findings, how it is going to affect, what are the measurable things that you have found and what is the analytical part of your research which is basically speaking that how your research stands out from the other. The fifth part comes at the discussion and recommendations where you talk about what are the future scopes, how the other researchers can take your research paper forward and go ahead. And you give what are the recommendations in terms of reading and how things can be elaborated. And finally comes the conclusion where you conclude with certain lines, quotations if you like and how do you find the research to be concluding in the lines to find it effective and it can be used further. Now these are few of the six parts along with the table of contents etc which can be framed for any research. Remember I am talking of any research does not necessarily mean physics. It can be economics, it can be social science, it can be humanities or anyone but these are few of the quick tips.